Jackson? Is Gilbert here yet? What? Is Gilbert here? I want Gilbert yeah. in here. I don't want to talk to a, an amateur. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Uh, right, Gilbert goodbye. gets things without this show. Goodbye. An hour ago, you were loving me, and now You got a bottle of water. Oh, uh, Gilbert, come on in. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were waiting. Yeah. Gilbert looks Filipino. Gilbert looks pregnant. <laughs> Gilbert looks Filipino. <laughs> Marcos. Oh, it is Marcos. He's wearing a shirt like Marcos. Where did shirt come from? Look like a Japanese pimp. Looks like a new free shirt Gilbert yes. got somewhere. You know what? He should apply to take that role in Miss Saigon. <laughs> can I tell you about Gilbert's shirt? Gilbert Godfrey just walked in, and I can tell that shirt was taken just out of the package. It hasn't been washed. You know you wash your shirt. It's totally free. It's a fresh new shirt because you can see the folds in it. From taking from it out the of the package. package. Yeah. Careful of the pins. Yeah. <laughs> I still have the cardboard and the collar. It looks it. Yeah. <laughs> that is the wildest shirt. That looks like, uh, you look like, you look like Ferdinand Marco. <laughs> Especially with it, that haircut. It's a new look. Yeah. Hey, you look good, man. Yeah. But, oh, no, yeah. he's still not working <laughs> yeah, out. That good. stomach is still, you yeah. know, he looks pregnant. No, yeah. he has some medical problems. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the Jewish Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break. <laughs> Gilbert's here. We're going to do the news together, and uh, we'll be and we'll find out what's going on with Gilbert. I'm sure. Yeah, wonder what's going on in his things. career. And by the way, if anyone wants to know when we're going to air the Girl Cow Stuttering John tape, um, that'll be this Thursday and Friday night. Excellent. All right, we'll be back right after these words. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show, ninety-seven-one, The Eagle. Back with the Howard Stern Show. Rock, 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 rock and roll high school. You're friends with those guys, the remote. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I, I did. Yeah, you know them. them. Yes. Gilbert Gottfried's here. Gilbert, by the way, will be on Wings tonight. The, it's a repeat of his uh, special performance that I believe he was nominated for Emmys. Yes. It was, it's an encore presentation. And what do you play quickly? Because no one's really that interested. Uh, yeah. what, what, do you, uh, <laughs> what do you play again? What is your character? Sort of like a short, annoying character who can't get laid. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it was a, a stretch for me. Yeah, there's a real yeah. stretch. And do you try to hit on one of the girls on Wings? That's a oh, pretty good show. Yes. Yeah. Crystal Bernard or something. Yeah. You try to get her? I nailed her. Yeah. You try to get her? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get the fat guy in the show. I don't. And Gilbert, though, Gilbert uh, has a persona on the radio and on his comedy appearances. He's going to be in Caroline's in October. He has a persona where he can't get laid because he's an ugly short guy, but <laughs> he's quite a little operator. He doesn't talk about that on stage, does he? Uh, he claims that he can't get laid, but evidently because he's famous now, girls will have sex with him. <laughs> it's not good sex. In fact, <laughs> well, Gary was telling me. Participating in Gary found a girl. We have a girl on the phone who actually dated you. Oh, my God. Another one? This is a classic Gilbert story. Gilbert goes out on a date with this girl. She's a real piece of ass. I know who she is. Knockout. Yes. All right. So Gilbert gets girls. How does he meet her at a show? He. Met, I'm not going to say where he met her, but he met her, and she is the type of girl who would never date a, gr a guy that looks like Gilbert. Yes. And except. Except that now it's Gilbert. Yeah. He's famous. So she even went through a lot of psychological trauma. Let me hear. Let me get her on the phone. Is that her? Yeah. All right. Here. Wait a second. Don't give your name on the air because you don't want to have that stamp of having that dated... stigma. Yeah, that stigma of dating Gilbert. <laughs> don't worry, Gilbert. It's yeah, nothing embarrassing. Get... So, Gilbert's got that yeah. look on his face. Yeah, like, I'm sorry I came There must be out. some embarrassing stories out there it that Gilbert It can't be good if so it's nervous. the story of a girl and me. Anyway, you're a really pretty girl, right? I mean, um, be honest. I, I'm okay. <laughs> Gary, you've seen her, right? She's hot. <laughs> Gary knows me. Jackie, you've seen her too, right? Jackie, yes. yeah. adorable. She's adorable. All right. So, she would never date a guy like Gilbert. Well, be honest. No, let me just preface this. With something. Yeah. Gilbert is a really, really nice guy, and I'm not on the air to like her. Right, I know, I know. Okay. It's just a funny story. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a funny story, Gilbert. But she doesn't answer the question. <laughs> Gilbert's not her usual type. Well, um, admit that you, let's say, had to go through some hard thought before you would date Gilbert, right? Well, <laughs> you typically get like really. I actually had to go through some counseling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you were impressed that it was Gilbert, right? No, um, actually, I met him at my office. He seemed really funny, and right. he asked me you for. Had to get a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> he asked me for a cup of coffee, and I said, "Yeah." Okay. So wait a minute. So... If you saw Gilbert across a room, you wouldn't run over to him, but because he was funny, yeah. you went out with him. Yeah, I mean, come on, Gilbert's yeah. an ugly guy like me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I wouldn't say he's ugly. No, I look like Brad Pitt in real life. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Gilbert, yeah, but you would never he's look at Gilbert. Ugly. True. No, that's not necessarily true. No, we take no, no, it's really not. In every way, but yeah, in a him. direct way. Yari, come on. 
She's way too cute. She dates really good-looking guys, right? She dated uh, you. one other ugly guy. Would right. he famous or Me. rich? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I dated Gary for a long time. Yeah, you, you dated Gary because he's Gary from the Howard Stern Show. No, actually, I didn't. No, he's also a good-looking guy. I met, yes, I, met, I met Gary. I was interning at K-Rock, and I met Gary. Oh, really? Yeah. So she didn't know who he was? No. <laughs> no, I really didn't. I'd like to go out with you. Have you seen him without his mustache? So anyway, so Gilbert, <laughs> so Gilbert has some kind of rap where he walks up and he actually is, inca is capable of asking a girl for a cup of coffee. Okay. And, yeah. Good. So Gilbert takes her out <clears throat> to dinner, right? No, for coffee. For coffee. Right. And cup then, of coffee. When the, listen to this. <laughs> out of a machine. When the check comes, <laughs> Gilbert excuses himself from the table and goes to the bathroom. Right. No. And what happened? <laughs> you had to pay, I, right? Well... Well, he got up, he went to the bathroom, the check was there, it was like a dollar something, uh -huh. so I just put down two dollars. And, and he never paid? He, no. He, he just waited for you to pay? Well, did he come I don't know if he was actually coffee waiting Coffee I'll usually pay for. <laughs> what? Coffee I'll usually pay for. See, I, I don't remember. I thought the funny part of the story yeah. was that Gilbert came back from the bathroom mm -hmm. and he didn't say... Oh, did you pay for the check or where's the check? He just did, made no reference to it, and then they left. Yeah, and I mean, Gilbert obviously knew it wasn't free coffee. <laughs> yes, I thought so. <laughs> it was free coffee for kitchen. Gilbert. So that, were you turned off by that, and then you just never slept with him? Oh, I never, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um... You would never sleep with Gilbert. This no. is a girl who slept with Gary, so our things are not that high. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, you never saw him again? No. Wow. Because you were turned off? But he was very nice. Yeah. He was very nice, yeah. <laughs> so what happened? Did he ask for your number or something and you want to give it to him? No, I, I gave it to him. Oh, you just yeah. wouldn't answer his calls? <laughs> <laughs> did he call you after that? <laughs> yeah. He was psychic hotline. So how did you avoid him? What did you do? Like, just let him call on the machine like Robin does with Clarence? <laughs> <laughs> that works. Is that what you did? So you never that works. So every time I, I Gilbert play the saxophone on the machine. <laughs> so every time, boy, Gilbert, you're famous and you can't get laid. Yeah. Oh man. No, but he's a really nice guy. Oh, he's a great guy. But when but... a guy stiffs you for coffee <laughs> hours. Gilbert, what the, do you have any uh, explanation for this? I don't remember the coffee bit. Because Gilbert is so cheap. No, because yeah. I will pay for coffee. You will? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, when you walk out, you must yeah. have but realized. But when you saw she had paid for it, you didn't even bother. I guess I figured screw her at that <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very long time ago. If she's All not right. stupid to pay for coffee. <laughs> then... Well, there you go. <laughs> Okay. I think Gilbert would have said, oh, please allow me. Yeah, yeah. why did you pay for the check? Let me yeah, give you something. Money Put back. up a little fight. Yes. I'm not, I'm not Bruce Lee in that part. Gilbert is a glom. Or you turn that into something else. Well, if you paid for coffee, let me take you to dinner. Right. Yeah, like maybe you could have gotten laid. Yeah. <laughs> I could have taken it at McDonald's. All right. All right. What kind of conversation did you have? Was he able to have a conversation? Oh, yeah. So what, is he just bragging about himself? Or did no, he... no, not at all. He's real nice. Is he? Very funny. He jokes that he does a routine. Yeah, he's a real clown. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad it's you find it funny? Very endearing quality. <laughs> What did he talk sure. about? You wouldn't even answer his phone call. <laughs> what did he talk about? Um, it, you... It's just too degrading to know she she slept with Gary. Because <laughs> he looks fun. Yeah, she slept with Gary, but she yeah, slept with Gary. Yeah, I know. That, that's you. the worst part about it. Gary and I dated a long time. Is Gary good in bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> long time. <laughs> the best. Right. No, oh, I, I, I don't want to. Did he give you the full treatment? He does with all the other girls. <laughs> I don't want to he go puts there. his tongue in a place that no guy I know puts his tongue. Oh, no, no. God. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Roto Rooter. Yeah. Did he do that to you? <laughs> I wouldn't allow such a thing. Did you try with her, Gary? No. I don't remember. Uh, well, I have better stories about Gary, but we can talk about those another Ooh, time. Yeah. Oh, oh, we'll have to call you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. What kind of stories? Oh, just funny little things. Like, what did he do? What's oh, the funniest like one? Like, the dog... And the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh you're the girl when that happened? Yeah. 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 Gary was with her. Oh, no, you know, don't bring that up now. And he, and he threw his rubber <laughs> on the floor, and her dog ate the rubber. It was worse than that. It wasn't her it dog. Wasn't my dog. She was babysitting for a woman who, had she known this happened, would have killed both of them. <laughs> this dog was like her dog child. Sitting. Right. Yeah. So Gary threw his rubber on the carpet. Two of them. He throws it down on the floor, and the dog eats the whole rubber. You gotta, no, you gotta and didn't he just, didn't he just, didn't he just go to the bathroom and, and he passed the rubber? Oh, here's what happened. We didn't know. That he, I didn't he was, know he ate he it. He was running around the apartment with like my underwear in his mouth, everything, you know. So we didn't yeah. know he ate the rubber. Yeah. Then the next morning, she called me. She goes, "Oh my God, I just walked the dog, and, and he just passed the rubber." <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh.
thought the dog was going to die. <laughs> what was it about Gary, the dog's eating his underwear? I don't know. I guess it smelled like a dog. <laughs> Man. You shouldn't date anyone from this show. I'm not. Ever again. It smelled like glasses rubber. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. That's a pretty funny story. Yeah, that was a pretty what funny. else you got? <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to say anything else. <laughs> give, me, give me one more, please. <laughs> the, um, the snocks. Snocks? What's the, that? That was his snot box. Oh, you're the one with the snot box? Yeah. <laughs> Why What's would you that? show that to a girl, Gary? <laughs> she what Gary, is that? Gary used to, to, to Gary. What was the snot box? It was. Oh. Go ahead, you explain. It was, when he had moved into his apartment, um, where was it, Gary? Amsterdam. Yeah. He uh, never like got rid of a lot of the boxes, so there were boxes behind his couch, like folded up. Yeah. And I said to him, "Why don't you get rid of these boxes?" He had been there for like a year already, and he said, "No, I can't." That that I use that box. I said, "What for?" <laughs> he says, "When he lays on the couch, he picks his nose and he wipes it on the oh. box." The hours. I mean, come on. There's oh. a little degree of joking oh, in this. But dude, why would you admit that? I might have done that once, but I'm I mean, gonna it wasn't bark. like that's why it was. Bad. He's like, "Don't touch it." Did you look in it? No, it was it was it was flat. The box was flat. Yeah, he like oh. wiped it on oh. the side. Oh. The box is Could you folded. see the boogers? <laughs> Did you see the boogers? Of couldn't see the boogers. She saw them. Oh. How many boxes did he fill up? <laughs> well, he lived there for quite a while. <laughs> so I'm not sure. All right, thank you. Hey, listen, I can't take any more right. stories. You're depressing Gilbert even more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Right. She stayed with me while I wiped my snot on the box, yet she wouldn't date Gilbert. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. I want to meet you. She was an intern? A long time ago. Ten years ago. Gary dates all the interns. Yeah. <laughs> well, just that one. Yeah. Do I know her? No. Why wouldn't I know her? You don't even remember the... Because I, I met her when we were at the other building. That's how long ago it was. Oh. You probably just didn't pay any attention. Why am I not seeing anybody? <laughs> I'm like Gilbert. I can't get laid. <laughs> what the action I could have going on. All these guys with my girls. Why does someone These have a These stories should be your stories. <laughs> I mean, why can't not you just box. get a tissue? I don't know. <laughs> well, Gary was sitting on the couch watching TV. Yeah, he couldn't get up and get a tissue. Oh, oh that makes sense. <laughs> he is so vile. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So you need a box there. <sighs> How can you live with your own snot? <laughs> when you know. Gary, you love everything about yourself. <laughs> All his body fluids are, <laughs> are precious. <laughs> This is the guy who's constructing his family tree. Do like, you notice that Gary shaved his mustache off and now he sweats where his mustache Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's all the sweat dripping. <laughs> <laughs> like when he gets nervous, it's yeah, like beads of all sweat beads start of popping up. Like Nixon. <laughs> well, now, you know, you notice even more how that top lip has to close down over those teeth. Because there's no hair there to show you. It, you know, it, it unrolls. His top lip to is. His top lip can't get over his teeth. Yeah. It really looks like that Planet of the Ape mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before they perfected it, and it was just like sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert's just angry because he didn't get laid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a girl that would sleep with Gary yeah. rejected him. Wow. <laughs> Want to start news, or you need a second to get ready? Uh, let me get it uh, organized here, and then right. we'll uh, go. All right. Can I bring you cards? Yeah, I have it all. Oh, okay. And uh, Gilbert Gottfried is here. He'll be at Caroline's in October, and he'll be on Wings tonight. Oh, he's here for Wings. Well, he's just here. He's I trying to he's trying to say to me that he's here just to be here. Oh, But really? I think he's here for Wings too. He missed us. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed you. All right. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. The Eagle. We're back with the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> wow, this is fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. And then 
The next hour you can put it next to your stomach and we can watch it digesting. <laughs> All right, very good. Gilbert Gottfried on wings tonight. And, of course, every Saturday, USA up all night. Yeah, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> what is that Rhonda Shearer do? She's in the tabloids every week. I never see Gilbert. What, does she date Larry King? <laughs> anyway, come on, let's get to some news. Gilbert Gottfried here. Go see him in October at Governor's. I was trying to find out from Gilbert what he does till October. But he just hangs out. He evidently makes so much money from one gig that he can just hang for a month. Hasn't he got a couple of movies in the Yeah, well, I always say to him, like, yeah, what else do you do? He's got a Cause... couple of Stuttering John movies. <laughs> yeah. Stuttering John was telling me outside. He goes, you in that movie, too? I, 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 I had a dream that we were doing a movie together. <laughs> this is so weird. Don't you think that's weird? No. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, Gilbert's here. We, uh, we love to do the news because we're very much into it. It's like a retarded McLaughlin group. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're very much into yes. it. Robin, what's in the news? Well, we were talking a lot about Shannon Faulkner last week, the woman who was breaking that all-male code at the Citadel. Gilbert, you were never in the military, were you? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And you never went to military school. You know, the military said they would allow women in, but not Gilbert. <laughs> well, she became very ill from heat exhaustion the very first day. Wound up... <laughs> In the infirmary for three days. Right. Came out and quit. So she quit while we were away. Other than that, she was a quit for the job. <laughs> right. Yeah. And now there's this big argument as to whether they were right to keep women out or... Well, she was out of shape. Well, so what? She was out of shape. You I know? hate people who let the their bodies is, fall apart. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It was two years of fighting to get into the place. They drove the poor girl crazy. Right. If women can't handle the rigorous physical requirements of the Citadel, then let them try and fail, and then they'll go on. Yeah, that's Why fine. Why these court battles? I don't know. That's stupid. Cadet Gottfried would never have quit, right? <laughs> you die first. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you yes, know sir, Detroit. sir. <laughs> you know Detroit better than I do, Howard. I know so. Detroit. I spent some time there. I Explain this to me. It's the worst time of my life. <laughs> a man with a tire iron forced a woman to strip to her underwear and then chased her until she jumped off a Detroit bridge to her death. <laughs> Sounds like one of my what? dates. Yeah, you see that a lot. This 33-year-old woman apparently was involved in some kind of a traffic problem. Right. She's in Detroit. She gets into a traffic problem, right? With a couple of other cars. Listen to this. I suppose some words were exchanged, and then these three men uh, started out of the brandishing car. a tire iron. They beat her. <laughs> they forced her to strip to her underwear. <laughs> and then they either pushed her or chased her until she just ran off a bridge. And, and jumped and killed herself and off a bridge. into the water and drowned. Let me tell you about Detroit. And people watch, some say, rooting these men on. Yes. Detroit is Vietnam without the gooks. <laughs> you will see things. You know exactly what it means. You will see things in Detroit that you will see nowhere else. It is like hell. It's hell week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's frightening. Downtown Detroit is the pits. It is like Road Warrior. It's every man for himself. I tell you, I worked there. I used to drive down into downtown Detroit. It sounds like RoboCop. The first day I was there, I didn't know any better. I got out of my car. I went into a quick place to buy like a donut or something yeah. to eat for breakfast. I never thought I'd get out alive. And I am telling you, downtown Detroit, every person has like big metal thick bars on the windows. Everything is caged in. And it's nuts. And then if, if Detroit wins a basketball game or something, yeah. they it's, burn it's down a riot. The city. They burn down the city. And then Halloween, Hell Night? Yeah. You know how Hell Night's like for bad boys to go out and chalk a house? These guys burn the houses. It's a whole week in Detroit. Hell Night lasts a week. I used to commute, you know, through Detroit. Yeah. I would have to dress in camouflage. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm getting coffee. Cover me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out for coffee. It is. I think I can make it. Now this poor woman is driving along. She got into a traffic altercation. These three guys and get out. And they think minor. Minor. Yeah, we're not talking big deal guys, traffic accident. These guys were pissed off. They took a tire iron. They beat her. You know, accidents happen yeah. with cars, Gilbert. And uh, <laughs> I mean, you can laugh at this all you want. Yeah. All right, but uh, they beat her and then chased her over the bridge and made her jump. But what is the, the stripping, you know, and, and all of that? You know, because she was down the to her is, underwear. Well, it's guys. 
<sighs> we love to see girls yeah. on there on the way. <laughs> Even if they've got their Even... skull smashed in. Right. It's like, it's still a turn off. Yeah, yeah. Put a bag over it. Yeah. <laughs> the tons of witnesses who say nothing. They laugh, they applaud, they root. Yeah, get her. Yeah, well, Detroit loves a good uh, party. <laughs> That's a sick thing, you know. That's so sick there. I'm telling you, they should bomb Detroit. And then you go 10 minutes outside of Detroit, right to Beautiful, um, huh? Unbelievable. Richest places in the world. One, yeah, Gross Point. Right. It's beautiful. Richest real estate. And it's like, there's like a How line. How do they exist with this little pocket? I don't know. I don't know. Of, of <laughs> embarrassment and shame right there. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. And no one there. can do anything I, about this. I don't know. Now, you know, I if would you venture blew up to say that these people must have all been of the same race. <laughs> Don't bring race into it. I <laughs> can't imagine. What, what? It's not no. a race deal. Was, no, they? If it had been white guys who did it to a black woman, all hell would be breaking yeah. loose. It was a bunch of brothers who uh, did, did it, to it to a, a black woman. Yeah, well, it's Detroit. There's no white people in really? Detroit. Right? <laughs> there's white people in Gross Point. There's white people in Southfield. There's in Plainfield. There's all kinds of white people. But in downtown Detroit, that is, <laughs> you know, if you're white, you're Tarzan. <laughs> you are going into the deepest, darkest jungle. But no, you know, you won't find Al Sharpton or anybody making a big deal. No, about that. well, there's no, there's no fun there. But this is a disgrace. And uh, if they bombed Detroit, it would do six dollars worth of damage. <laughs> Nobody would even miss it. I'm not kidding. Uh, I'm telling you. And if you see a white person in Detroit, he's it's running. A, it's a lost Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> They're right over the board. They really are. It's right over the little bridge there. Uh, right? You know what I'm talking about. That's amazing. No, if this had been a racial incident, oh boy. If this had been white guys who did this to a black woman, that would be it. They, they, all of Detroit would be down today. Oh, the country would be at a standstill. But those uh, three guys who did it will probably be protected by their own communi community. Well, they are supposed to, you know, there's been a long investigation. They're supposed to be charged today. You know, they're moving very cautiously on this. One. Right. So they beat her head in with a tire iron. And they still wanted to see her naked. It, it sounds <laughs> that's like... That's guys. That's not black or white. That's yeah. just guys. <laughs> yes. That's guys. You know, they were just hitting... You know, it's just very strange. Strange, strange, strange. Gilbert, let's pretend you're a black woman in Detroit, and I have a tire iron. I'm going to beat you over the head. Yeah. I want to see you naked. Uh-huh. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> they beat the clothes right off her. Yeah. Jeez. Horrible. Ah. What is the answer, Dr. Gosling? Yeah, well... Well, no, seriously, what are, you're, you're a smart guy. You've been around a long time. What is the answer? I, I can't believe black guys would do a thing like that. Really? Yeah. I just, well, I'm shocked, too, because yeah. <laughs> I never hear of that kind of stuff going on. Gilbert's a racist. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, it just is very interesting to me how, you know, you can't find a black person to say O.J.'s guilty. There seems to be some say unity it. in the really, community. Man. I'll say it. I'm black. <laughs> O.J.'s guilty. No, no, the cops planted everything on him. <laughs> yeah, Mark Furman did it. It's like a mixture of the cops didn't know anything that they were doing, and they screwed everything up. And or, then, or then they were able to frame him. Or they're up. master criminals yes. and framed him. Yeah, they're ingenious. Yeah. Either either one will work as long as O.J. gets out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Speaking of uh, O.J., uh, Judge uh, Ito. What was that? Ah, O.J. Uh, That's uh, right. Ah, uh, perfect segue. It was very clever. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ah, very clever. Ah, so. Judge Ito uh -huh. uh, came down hard on the defense yesterday for their sloppy <laughs> legal work. Yeah. Here he is dressing down oh. the defense team. Every time I tune in, it's boring. At first, it was so incoherent, I couldn't figure out what was going yeah. on. Now, he's yelling at them because the defense filed some papers that Judge Ito couldn't even figure out what was going right. on. Right. He was yeah. supposed to take these transcripts and then go to a place on the tape and listen to right. see what they wanted to admit into court to be heard by the jury. And he couldn't even follow their uh, game plan there. He couldn't match up the tapes and the transcripts. Right. And after going through your offer proof, trying to correlate it with the tape and with the transcript, I couldn't yes. do it. I don't think it's my obligation to spend my time going through 12 hours of tapes looking for a particular answer. It, it certainly isn't. <laughs> it certainly isn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, he told them this was crap and it wasn't going to work for him and they'd better go refile these papers. He'll allow them to refile the papers today. He said the papers weren't even readable. Uh, Your Honor, you don't understand. We've already gone through OJ's 10 million and uh, we don't really want to spend a lot of time <laughs> going through any kind of tapes and filing fancy papers. You want us to listen to the tapes? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't understand, Your Honor. We're on our time. Yeah, we're on our time now. OJ ran out of money a couple months ago. Your Honor, if you think it's a bad idea, we'll try something else. <laughs> <laughs> 
any kind of defense that Your Honor wants. So anyway, uh, they're refiling those papers today. These are those uh, notorious Mark Furman tapes where he's throwing around the uh, nigger word. It's like Jackie's eye. Ah. <laughs> hey, two niggers go to the bar. Or oh, the kikes. Uh, oh, the kikes and niggers. Oh, oh, oh. Two and, niggers uh, are talking to a guinea. <laughs> they say that there was an anonymous caller. And a kite to... comes in. Oh. Who's talking Simpsons. to a chicken? I will not be able to out-talk Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Why bother? Listen to him. He's, I don't want to listen to him. I don't want to He's doing his alphabet. He's doing his spick and nigger material and, now. And some yids come in. Have we got the joke? Yeah, okay. Gilbert, all right, enough, all right? <laughs> they got a call from an anonymous uh, phone caller who says that there are more tapes. Simpson apparently talking to another screenwriter. Furman, yeah. I mean, yeah, for Mark Furman apparently talked to another screenwriter. How many movies is Furman working on? I guess he's working on a number of them. Will Gilbert and Suttering John be in them? <laughs> Together? Will the and dream come another true? bombshell was uh, dropped by the prosecution oh. yesterday when uh, Marsha Clark revealed that one tape had been erased. Uh-oh. One of the things they were submitting, they only have a transcript of it because it had been erased. Marsha Clark said that she erased the tape? No, 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 no. When they got the group of tapes from the screenwriter... Yeah, one of them had been erased. There's only a transcript of one. Oh, they you want to know what that tape. means? That's where Furman goes, okay, you know what? I can imitate a racist cop, so I'm going to go do it for you now, so here we go. <laughs> That's probably that tape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one is erased. <laughs> Gee, how convenient. Well, outside of the courtroom, Johnny Cochran had this to say yesterday. Okay. About the tape. This is not any mystery. These tapes exist. Yeah. You're going to hear these tapes ultimately. And OJ is guilty. In. There's our verbatim transcript. Her transcript's done almost immediately thereafter. She's a very honest woman. Uh, there is no... Um, she didn't exaggerate. She doesn't exaggerate. She tells the way it was. This OJ is the luckiest guy on the planet. i got to tell you something. Not only do I think he's guilty... But here's a guy so lucky. He's been lucky his whole career. Born a football player, you know, great football yeah. player, had natural ability. Becomes a, can't speak English, he's a sportscaster, he's got a big career in movies, endorsements. In fact, I don't think there's been a bigger person in endorsements in terms of acceptability than, than O.J. Not even, Michael Jordan's not even as big. And I got to tell you, you know, it was long after O.J.'s career and he was still. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Getting endorsements. He's yet. still as in demand as ever. And now he murders these two people, goes on trial, and the one cop who found the glove this takes the him screaming yeah. nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, O.J. is the most... I want to be attacked to O.J. O.J. knew all of this beforehand. O.J.'s he a said, genius. I know it's the night that Mark Furman is on. He'll yeah. be coming. This is the night to do I think O.J. set up Mark Furman. Because <laughs> Mark Furman's going to end up doing heavy time. <laughs> O.J. will be out with the white broads. <laughs> oh, my God. I tell you something. Uh... It's in two months. OJ will be freer than Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He can drive. Right. He can drive and get around. Gilbert has to beg someone to drive him. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, they're continuing <laughs> with this uh, investigation into the tape. <laughs> They say that there could be a delay in the trial because the defense is running out of witnesses. Wow. So they may have to stop down while they decide which tapes come in or not. And we'll have to see whether that occurs. They are still questioning people on the stand today, however. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're still going on about how terrible the LAPD lab is and uh, how they shouldn't be able to find anybody. So, again, we have the dichotomy. They framed him, but they, they botched everything. Right. And therefore, either the a, the results of the test are invalid, or they planted O.J.'s blood. Whichever way you want to go with it. Okay. Dr. Kevorkian. But they still didn't answer, why would they want to frame him? No. Yeah. I mean, you don't well, need a reason. Yeah, what would their reason be for framing O.J. Simpson? The nicest guy in the world, O.J. Simpson. Not yeah. like he's some angry guy. This who's... is the same guy who the cops came to his house a million times, and they never reported that, you know, the, all the domestic violence was right. going on. Hit it. The time that he did go in, they let him run away, you know. I mean, the cops were always nice to O.J. I wish the cops would be this nice to everybody. Yeah. Cops were never nicer to anybody than O.J. But now they framed him. Right. What do they have to gain from him? Go ahead. Uh, okay, you've not finished with this? No, game? I'm... Gilbert's very upset. This is the I'm first like time Larry I've seen King. Like <laughs> Hello, Detroit. Go ahead. Dr. Jack Kevorkian <laughs> yeah. has assisted his 25th patient with a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> this time, the woman's body was found in the parking lot 
of a hospital. <laughs> Jackie's got dark humor. Man. <laughs> and the reason they say they did that is because they were tired of that circus atmosphere that goes on when they do it in other places and, and the police run in and treat the whole situation like a crime scene and yes. so forth. So this time they just took, drove the woman to the hospital and left her there so wow. she could be found. No. That sounds like dying with dignity to me. He beat her with a tire iron and <laughs> threw her off the bridge. Naked. Yes. <laughs> Esther Cohen, who was 46, suffered from multiple sclerosis. She was nearly quadriplegic <laughs> and covered with bed sores. Huh? Her lawyer. Sounds like Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she was tired of the constant pain and the uh, fact that most of her body had already gone bye-bye anyway. She said it was time to put the rest of it to sleep. Hey, Gilbert would have gone out with her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she was bedridden and... Uh... Body source? <laughs> I, I asked her out. That's when she decided to kill herself. <laughs> right. Yeah. Kevorkian is already facing murder charges from two deaths at which he was present in 1991. I don't think they know the exact circumstances of how this woman died, but they say it's similar to the ways uh, Kevorkian has assisted other people. It's very sad. Yeah. I blame Mark Furman. <laughs> he framed her. Yes. There was another commuter plane accident. <laughs> There's Jackie. Okay. They him down in Georgia. <laughs> Thirty feeder, I think four or five people were killed, including the pilot. <laughs> the rest are in the hospital, <laughs> recovering from their injuries. The plane broke into three pieces. <laughs> oh, please, Jackie. Jackie, the news can't get any funnier than this. <laughs> And an investigation is now going on. <laughs> oh, my God. He goes nuts for that guy. I didn't know this was a funny story. <laughs> he loves to hear Jackie laugh. <laughs> that inhuman laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many died, Robin? How many died? Four people. <laughs> <laughs> really, that is wrong, Gilbert, to laugh like that. Jackie yeah, may be insensitive, but you don't have to follow in his footsteps. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Go ahead, Robin. Uh, sorry about that. Yes, please. Gilbert, very offensive. Yes. I hate to deal with another tragic story <laughs> right after that. Of course not. Because it's a good time. <laughs> Some U.S. diplomats were killed over in Bosnia. <laughs> Gilbert has a strange way of dealing with his grief. Yep. <laughs> All right. He's okay now. Okay. They went over there to try to figure out how to get these people to uh, get involved in some peaceful <laughs> negotiations and became victims of these ethnic wars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> President Clinton will interrupt his Wyoming vacation to return to Washington tomorrow to attend their burials at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, he's okay now. All right, can I go okay. on? Yeah. All right, no. Because so, of, when is the funeral? Uh, tomorrow. I'll <laughs> well, hear, get ready. A suicide bomber took on one of those Israeli buses yesterday, blew it up. <laughs> Four people were killed, <laughs> including a Connecticut teacher. <laughs> felt that winning this sabbatical to Israel was one of the luckiest things that had ever happened. <laughs> What's the matter with you, man? Jackie, you got... You, Jackie, you're sick. No, unless anyone thinks that's real. Uh, Fred is playing... Gilbert is real. <laughs> Gilbert's the only real that Fred is playing Jackie's laugh in the background. Several other Americans were injured. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Israeli officials and Palestinian officials have said that uh, they will continue to seek peace in the Middle East. Uh, this bombing was uh, the responsibility of the Islamic group Hamas, which is opposed to those peace talks. Jackie's always happy when others are less fortunate than him. 
That's why he laughs at these people. Ah! <laughs> you ever hear sounds like that come out of another human being? <laughs> Sick. Ah! It's like the island of lost souls. All right. Yeah. Something living inside of him. ABC News yesterday apologized to Philip Mars and R.J. Reynolds. They did a news story back in March of 1994 on day one that said... These uh, cigarette makers were adding extra nicotine to the cigarettes hmm. to make them more addictive to smokers. I'm surprised you don't smoke, Gilbert, because I know it makes you look cool. Yes. What, you never took up cigarettes to look never. cool? no. Not in front of the girls? I, I couldn't master a cigarette either. Really? Well, the um, I cigarette makers <laughs> vehemently denied these charges and decided to sue. Well, they have come to a settlement. Here is the apology. Ooh. Who is making the apology? By uh, W, I mean by ABC, by Diane Sawyer. Okay, I'd like to hear. I that. just want to apologize to my wife Nancy <laughs> for uh, the Jessica Hahn death of incident. It's stupid, and I'll never do anything like that again. And I love you, and I'm very sorry. And very Something. sincere, and don't. Please it's like don't Jackie. Well, well Diane has this. a frog in her throat. All right, no, here we go. All right, here is the apology. Thank you. Jackie. All right, here we go. Diane Sawyer apologizing from the bed. ABC News agrees that we should not have reported that Philip Morris and Reynolds add significant amounts of nicotine from outside sources. That was a mistake that was not deliberate on the part of ABC, but for which we accept responsibility and which requires correction. We apologize to our audience, Philip Morris and Reynolds. Ah. Philip Morris and Reynolds continue to disagree about whether the principal focus of the reports was on the use of nicotine from outside sources. Philip Morris and Reynolds believe that this was the main thrust of the programs. ABC believes that the principal focus of the reports was whether cigarette companies use the reconstituted tobacco process to control the levels of nicotine in cigarettes. Some apology, like anyone could even know what she's talking I about. Said, this will have the same impact as the report, I'm yeah, sure. This is about the world's worst read. But CBS and ABC and NBC News all agree that what we... What happened to the pictures and the graphics they used? Yeah, where's the apology in this? <laughs> it's like, you know, but we all still have not agreed. It almost makes it sound like ABC really didn't apologize. Yeah to keep people smoking. Philip Morris and Reynolds categorically deny that they do so. ABC thinks that the reports speak for themselves on this issue. Anybody beside me think that's the worst read they ever heard in their life? I mean, I don't know what she even I, said. I don't understand the word. But then that's what I usually am. It's like a sing-song backpedal. Wow. It's just interesting, you know, when they make these reports, they're all glitzy, and they make sure that yeah. the audience understands what <clears throat> they're doing the and audience what they're saying. The audience, the audience didn't understand a word there. I got a fairly high IQ, and I didn't understand a word there. You imagine some hillbilly there and hee-haw hell? All of a sudden, it's a science report. Yeah. What did she say, Margaret? <laughs> <laughs> Something about someone sorry. <laughs> what the hell is that? I tell you, I, I, I just don't understand the word. I, I it's so strange. It's so strange. The world is changing. Yes. <laughs> All these apologies. Oh. I got to pass wind. Oh, dear. It happens. It happens every day no. There's, at news time, it seems. Do you mind if I do it into the microphone? The Gilbert? Oh, oh all right. Want to hear it? Gilbert, you got to sit in there. Yes. Can I move back? Oh, that's yeah. very nice. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. Yes, that's good. Hey, that's funny. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm sitting closer. <laughs> Who is that reek? <laughs> You're always surprised that it stinks. I, is it, that's amazing. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I have a real problem. I have a, an irritated bowel. <laughs> Irritable bowel. You smell it? Yeah, well, it doesn't smell anywhere near as bad as your lunch did, though. <laughs> <I> was, uh... <laughs> that's true. worse coming out, huh? Yeah. I like the smell. <laughs> but enough of the rest of you, it's offensive. Yes. <laughs> I guess the air drifts out past... <laughs> I guess it goes through your bowel. And if there's anything in your bowel, any duty, the smell. I don't I don't know how it all works, but it's an amazing smell. <sighs> I'm going to study it. Yeah. <laughs> like, does the air pass over? What is air doing there? Yeah. And why is Passover different than all other days? <laughs> yes. right, anyway, what, what else is in the news, Robin? There was a big uh, fight between... Oh, no, we go. Okay. 
I have to get that out. A big fight. No, sir. At a church in Queens. Oh, All right, come on, okay, come on, sorry. you did that already. Go All ahead. Right. On Sunday, and the cops and the people who go to the church are blaming each other about uh, oh, why right? everything got out of hand. Right. Somehow or other, a retired cop wound up involved with one of the parishioners at this church, which was having its summer revival miracle crusade. Yeah. And uh, they had a little altercation, and then when this guy came back, you know, went and reported it to the cops and came back to identify his attacker, the cops and the people at the church somehow got into a melee, and everybody was using pepper spray, the security guards hired by the church, the cops, the nightsticks came out, people Jesus. got beat up, everybody went Where to was the hospital. This? In Queens. In Queens. At a church, at a church. revival. And what was the church's name? Well, it was their summer revival miracle crusade. It's the oh, uh, Universal Calvary Church in Jamaica. Well, you can't trust those Gentiles. And Just six not. officers yeah. and 30 civilians <laughs> suffered minor injuries. <laughs> so now they're all going to have to try to figure out exactly what went on here. So I know that area. Everybody's telling a different story. I know that area. I wouldn't set foot in that area. It just seems to me Queens. odd that the church people wind up in a big fight. Always calling in the cops. And then they blame the cops. And then they're mad at the cops. Ironic, they needed the Calvary, and the church is named the Calvary. <laughs> <laughs> they're in a church, and people are calling the cops. Well, I don't know that they call the cops. There's no hope. They uh, beat up a guy, and then he called the cops. Oh, the guy the got beat up. came to find the guy who had beat him up, and, and that's that was when all the trouble started with everybody. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's just so wrong. <clears throat> it's just, uh, how can human beings act this way? There's no answer. Uh, There's no answer. It is getting very confusing. Thank you. Windows 95 <laughs> is being pirated. Hey, 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 pirate. <laughs> Arr, get me those windows. Ahoy, matey. Arr. Right now it's only earlier test versions, but when the uh, actual on-sale version goes um, into the stores on Thursday, they expect it to appear on the Internet almost immediately and then go on sale for as little as two fifty in some countries. Wow. So this could be Bill Gates' worst nightmare. Well... His worst nightmare is going to be when everyone can't get that thing to work right. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe then he can blame it on all the bootlegs. <laughs> I guess. Who knows? Tony Danza got in a little trouble with uh, police over the weekend. He was at a beach or something with his kids, and a guy tried to videotape him. Yes, well, we celebrities don't like to be videotaped. It's wrong when we're on the beach. He was just... with two of his children. Okay, but what do you do when you're... You know, on the beach, and you when want with, privacy with your lady. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm with my kids, so when the, no, Rainbow you, and Tamara. Yeah, what do you do when the paparazzi get to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, see, Tony, Tony took it upon himself to handle the paparazzi. The paparazzi. <laughs> Tony actually got into his car and chased them down, rammed them. He rammed the paparazzi? Yeah. <laughs> and paparazzi. then he got out of the car. Beat their ass? Kicked and broke a window and made off with their camera. God, I wish I was a real man. <laughs> Cops ought to just move into his house. Seems to have a problem every couple of weeks. You you friendly with uh, Tony Danza, Mr. Danza? Ever work with him? Oh, yes, yes. yes. Man, we Many were projects. very close. <laughs> Danza wasn't arrested, but the case will be forwarded to prosecutors for possible robbery and battery charges. Mm. Sorry to see a fellow actor... It's it's just wrong. Oh, it's so wrong. Paparazzi has to know. The paparazzi. They're just wrong, those paparazzi. I mean, he he needs his privacy. Right. Not on camera. And How could he not be arrested? He oh, bashed through a window and... Well, I guess the cops didn't come to the scene. I and see. these guys just went and reported it. Hmm. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. It's very hard to deal with. There's no book written on being a celebrity. <laughs> And uh, Julia Sweeney, the woman who was yes. Pat on Saturday Night Live. Funny lady. Funny, funny. She's battling cancer. 
<laughs> oh, stop it, Jackie. <laughs> you know Jackie's jealous of all other comedians. Cancer of the cervix. You're uh, telling me that <laughs> Pat Sweeney could leave us? Julia Sweeney. I mean, Julia Sweeney? Comedy will never be the same. She says they took out everything. Lymph node, yeah. gallbladder, anything that could be there uh, that could have it. So she's, I uh, guess, pretty much cleaned out. Yeah, it's just cancer of the circus. <laughs> Or something like that. Then she went through nine weeks of radiation. <laughs> oh, she says it was a nightmare. It is. What a nightmare that was. Thank you, OJ. <laughs> so now she's talking about it, I guess, in her nightclub act. Does she wear like a bag for duty on the side? Oh, stop. That happens a lot, man. That's the worst. It happens. It's the worst for a lady because when she goes to bed with her man, he gets turned off. I'll take it. Yeah. Would you go? Yeah. Would you go to bed with a girl who has a, a, a duty bag? Sure, that's the least of my problems. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Gilbert's up for uh, yeah. dates. Well, maybe Julie ought to give him a call. <laughs> when you interest your lady and you see a duty bag, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's. Uh, that's real sad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Gilbert has cancer. <laughs> But people are yeah, happy about that. Then, yeah. I'd, then I'd have an excuse. People can't wait for him to die. <laughs> Whitney Houston and Madonna have been added to the list of presenters at next month's 12th annual MTV Music Awards. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah. Also on the list of presenters, Ricky Lake, Brian Adams, Seal. Wow, Ricky wow. Lake. NBA stars Grant Hill and Dennis Rodman. Wow. I better tape it. Yeah, I'm going to tape yeah. it so I have it, have it forever. Yeah, <laughs> this is a keeper. <laughs> Jay Leno has uh, announced that he will be a presenter at the Emmy Awards. He's not hosting, but he will present. Wow. I, mean, I will present. <laughs> I'll present. I'm you don't want to be the host, though, Jay? Well, no, no, I'm not going to host it, but I'll present it. I see. You know, because I, I mean, there's so much more to do this. I have the show to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't host it. I'll, I'll present. Right, you'll yeah. present the yeah. show. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it's the least I could do. I mean, I love it and everything. You don't think you're overexposed, do you? No, no, not at all. Not at all. All right. I, you know, I got my show to worry about. I got a lot of things. All right. You got a lot going on. And yeah. the Mike Tyson fight was a major disappointment to people over the weekend. I was really lasting. disappointed. 89 seconds. A million people, they say, ordered the pay-per-view special event. I like the fight. Mike Tyson <laughs> pocketed $25 million. I don't like the fight to go on too long. <laughs> yeah, why spend a whole evening? Right. Get over with quickly. Right. Yeah. And they said he will fight again in November, but they have not chosen an opponent of this. It's going to be Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the money, I would. I know yeah. you would. Yeah. It's a scary part. Yeah. So that's what's happening. Thanks, Gilbert. Robin. See, Gilbert would do that. He would. Gilbert, I want to thank you for stopping by. What a rare treat. Yes. <laughs> Really, really oh, yeah. special to yeah, see you. This was a special coup. Wait a minute. One show. other thing. Uh-oh. I forgot to tell you that the guy from Depeche Mode tried to commit suicide. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jackie's going to start again. <laughs> Depeche Mode, the group. I, I've heard of them. I never actually heard I, them. I've never really heard their music either. Gilbert's a big fan. If you knew who they were. Oh, they're a great group. No, they're Jay, Jay oh, Leno, it, too. They're terrific. They're terrific. Depeche Mode? Yeah. You're going to have them on the show? Yeah, I'm going to have them on the show. That's why I got to get... Uh, that's why I can only present. All right. <laughs> David Gahan is the guy's name. <laughs> And they say that doctors are evaluating his mental competency. Police found him in his home last Thursday with a two-inch laceration on his wrist. Oh, no, wacka. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so too, there uh, you have it. All right. Thank you, Robin, for that update on the medical health of Depeche Mode. Uh, Gilbert? Yes. I know you just came by to uh, rap to us yeah, to say I hello. Yeah, I like rapping, man. Yeah, man. So thank yeah, you. Man. I know you'll be on Wings tonight. I'm going to watch it. I'll yes. enjoy seeing you on that. And uh, Governor's in October. That, I know uh, a lot of people uh, looking forward November. to November. No, no, I thought it was Caroline. And then, of course, up all night every Saturday. Is it Caroline's or Governor's? What's in October? Caroline's is October, Governor's November. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Look, at, look at Baba Booey, didn't even get that right. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Gilbert made fun of him. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mike Judge tonight, our guest on the E! Show. Mike Judge, the creator of Beavis and Butthead. It's quite good. In fact, uh, tonight, don't miss the long-awaited episode. Because people keep saying, when is that going to air? And finally, we got around to it. Yeah, I'm surprised it's taken this long. And you'll learn all the interesting facts of Mike's early dealings with MTV and how he was ripped off. Well, you'll decide if he was ripped off. 
plus, um, he wasn't really ripped off. I mean, he signed the deal. Plus, uh, I will call the head of MTV as Fartman to renegotiate Mike's contract, which uh, is very exciting <laughs> television. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, wow, is your career skyrocketing? Uh -huh. 90 minutes of... Uh, he has a video out, Gilbert. You don't have a video. Two guineas! Right. I'm talking to a nigger who speaks and a guy. <laughs> His wild 90-minute filthy joke video, Who Far Did I Smelt It? And only monkey walks in. Only $15 plus $4 shipping and handling. Joke Land Special Bites, you get one free. Call 1-800-323-KING. Why doesn't Gilbert use that word anywhere else? What, nigger? Yeah. <laughs> Show yeah, always throwing that word around here. <laughs> Visit Jokeland at the World Wide Web. Maybe I could be part of the OJ trial now. <laughs> For filthy jokes and Jokeland's internet address, call 516-9221. Remember, 516-9221 is not a pay call or something. It's not a pay service. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> be sure to see the Fred Norris Band this Friday at page 6 in Long Beach. Don't miss Baba Booey at the South Street Seaport this Friday, hosting the World Arm Wrestling Championship starting at noon. I thought you were doing that, Gilbert. Oh, 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 I, I, I gotta be, I gotta be. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't miss Stuttering John appearing in Tony and Tina's wedding every Tuesday night. For more information or to order a signed copy of John's CD, call 201942-OUCH. Also, if you're planning a wedding or any kind of party and you want a great disc jockey, call Scott the Engineers Rocket Entertainment at 718 Bag 5040. Gilbert Godfrey, thank you for being our special, yeah, special our guest. Yeah, very, very special guest. Very special guest. Very special. All of, uh, all of the country thanks you for yes, coming on special. and brightening up the show. Gilbert Godfrey, how did they get him?